always down here. Front, double, bicep, boom. Coach Greg in another video assessing body fat percentages and I'm about to work out and I'm amped up and let's get right into it. Up first we have Ed Easton. He's 52 years of age. He self-assessed himself 15% body fat. That's freaking lead. He's 52 years of age. So standing relaxed, even while relaxed, you can see abs when relaxed. That is hard to do. If you can see abs when you're relaxed, you know you're a lean individual. And front double bicep, you can see some abs, not all of them there. However, I don't think he knows how to properly flex them. Because I do see in the obliques, the of muscles on the sides, you can see the obliques, the definition coming through. And he hasn't flexed his legs properly, should be bending his knees a little bit, his heels should be closer together, flaring the quads, he could be showing more definition amongst the quads, but still, nonetheless, a very lean looking physique. And back double bicep, I can see some definition in the back, although not as much as I would expect, a hamstrings not flexed properly, and some definition in the calves. And dropping the arms down to a back relaxed pose, I can still see what seems to be three Christmas trees. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? It looks like Christmas tree, Christmas tree, Christmas tree. So I'm seeing a lot of definition. He doesn't have any fat along the side of the waistline and he's in his 50s. To have that tight of a waistline in his 50s with no loose skin hanging to the side, that's indicating he's lower than 15%. I'm gonna say 13.5% body fat, extremely lean, leaner than he would even need to be for optimal health. Up next, we have Danielle Melberg, who's 36.9 years of age. Since when do we say 0.9? I mean, 36 or 37, 0.9? And since when is it a 0.9? There's 12 months in a year. Shouldn't it be how many months she is? is what is 0.9? It's ridiculous. Anyway, by the time this video is out, I'm sure she's 37 now. She self-assessed herself at exactly 38.3%. This woman, she must be really good at math because she's really got it down to a decimal, down to a science, to one significant figure. And from the rear, you can see some extra skin, some loose skin, some stretch marks with some fat hanging past the tightness of the undies. When you see body fat going past, there's compression going on with the underwear and some of the fat is passing that line. That means there's some extra body fat there. So she does say she's over 38% and obese, that's around the 33% line. So she does realize she is in the obese territory, but let's see what else we can see to give a more accurate assessment. And from the front, you can see she has a little bit of extra fat. It's not crazy. She's not morbidly obese. She doesn't have a hundred pounds to lose. But there is a little bit of fat spread out throughout the body that's more than the ideal. And front double bicep, the arms are way out. She needs to bring those arms closer together, hands closer to the ear. That would show off more of the biceps. You can see some bicep development. There's not a lot of fat there, not a lot of extra fat hanging on the tricep. So what I do see is a little bit of extra fat around the stomach and the sides as well as in the hip area. And what I see from the rear, a little bit of extra fat around the bra line. Bra is going to be tight, it's compressive, and some of the extra fat, it's going to droop slightly over that. So overall, I'm going to say she's about 39.5% body fat, so pretty good guess from her after all. Up next, we have 24-year-old Samantha Kerr, who self-assessed herself at 26%, only 1% over what's considered ideal. And from the rear, standing relaxed, I do see a lot of fat in the hip area. It's a struggled area for most women. That is where they tend to start storing body fat. If she were to get leaner, you wouldn't see that straight downwards line. And then right after the hip, it kind of pops out with a little bit of fat. That is extremely common amongst women who have over 25% body fat, approaching 33%. It's just one of the areas that women tend to store fat the most. Look at the biceps and the shoulders and the smallness of the waist. She has an amazing upper body, lower body. I see some muscles, but not a lot of development in the quads. Definitely has a stronger upper body than a lower body. As I put my hand over and I cover her right above the belly line, I'm comparing symmetry. Does her top half match her lower half? 
as I cover her lower half right at the belly button and look at her top versus the bottom, the upper body, this is phenomenal. This is 99 percentile development right here. Very strong upper body. But when I cover the top and look at the bottom, I don't see an extremely outstanding physique. It's still above average but not way above average. So body fat distribution as well as muscle, it can differ from top to bottom, front to back. So she does have a lot of potential. As I see some of the fat that's above the bikini line, you can see some of the fat, it's, it's sticking out a little bit past where that bikini line is. If she were to get leaner, that's gonna come down even smaller. It's going to accentuate that V shape, the V taper. She needs to work on her lower half to increase the muscle in the quads, which can, of course, come with time. She just needs more time, more training. And standing relaxed when things aren't flexed, you can see there's not really that much fat in her lower body. The legs, there's no extra fat there, but there's not a lot of muscle either. The waistline, however, when being relaxed, you can see there is some fat. If I were to pinch that, I could probably pinch an inch. And again, with the rear double bicep, you can see a lot of muscle in the upper body, massive arms coming down to a smaller waist, but then a little bit of body fat, the lower waist area. You can see the saddle bag area, some body fat yet again, but overall a great physique, which just has a little bit more body fat than would be desired. My guess is this woman could compete in women's physique or bikini, maybe figure, depends on what she wants to do, depends on the level that she wants to compete at and do very well. She just have to drop more body fat. So overall, I'm going to say 26 was fairly close. I'm giving her 27.5% body fat, just slightly above what would be considered the healthiest range for body fat. Up next, we have 20-year-old Iron Musket. I know this guy, Iron Musket, Joshua Kratt. I thought he was older than 20. I never knew he was only 20. Dude, you look a bit old for 20. Am I right? Does Iron Musket not look older than 20? I thought he was like 22, 23 years of age. He self-assessed himself at 19% body fat in this photo. And from the front, standing relaxed, you can see there's not a lot of abdominal development. In fact, I don't see abs at all. I see the quads. He's got a lot of hair. It helps to shave. You can see the muscles better when there's no hair. The legs do look quite well developed. For some reason, this leg on this side, as I'm looking, looks better developed than the other side. Could be just closer to the camera, different ways to pose. Maybe he's flexing that side better than the other. The chest seems to be well formed. I don't see any drooping gyno. It looks like a very tight chest, not a lot of fat. The stomach, a little bit of extra fat around the lower abdominal area, especially above where his shorts are. And front double bicep, you know it, it's always down here. Front double bicep, boom. If you can't touch your head, probably not close enough to the head. Too many biceps are like this. This is not the bi, it's up here, people. Get the bicep higher than the deltoid. So well-formed biceps, quite lean in the arms, and a tiny bit of maybe some kind of definition coming out in the abdominals. Legs, not too bad. And through the tightness of the short, you can see some of the fat overlapping the shorts. If he were 50 or 45, like Coach Reagan did the same thing, I'd say, probably just lose skin. But when you're young, this is not loose skin. It's actually extra body fat that's on the side. And back double bicep, of course, it's back down here. It should be up here. And it's taking away from the V shape. You can see overall, he has really good shape. You can see a small waist. You can see it's coming out with a V. He has lats, but he needs to get the arms up to show it more. And imagine if there wasn't the body fat on the bottom part that's around the shorts, it would make for an even smaller waist. So rather than being this wide, if his waist were an inch smaller on each side, it would be more like here, which accentuates that V to make it even look wider than last time. So he assessed himself at 19%. This is closer to 22, 23% body fat, 22.5% for the iron musket. Up next, we have 36-year-old Lisa Ingram, who identifies as a circle and who has 27% body fat. First pose in great lighting without flexing, you immediately see a lot of definition in the back. She's not flexing here. She's kind of standing there. You can tell it's not a flex pose, but yet you can see divots and holes, crevices. Some good definition, also good lighting. You can see the lighting on the back. This is a proper way to take a photo. Next photo from the front under great lighting. You can see the legs. There's a little bit of bumpiness. 
typically looks like cellulite in this manner, okay? Females in general, they carry body fat extra, looks like cellulite. Males, not so much. And abdominals, you can see a little bit of definition where the obliques would be, and you can kind of see where the abdominals are forming at the top, so not a lot of body fat in the stomach area. Back double bicep, I mean, come on, look at the definition in the back. Clearly a highly defined back carrying more body fat in the lower half than the top half, but it's very common for females to have very lean backs in comparison to their male counterparts. And from double bicep, you can see both arms very well formed and you can see some abdominal development. Legs, you don't see as much definition. She's carrying more body fat in the legs, lower half than in the upper half. What I would like to have seen is more straight on posing so I could see the legs exactly the way I see others, but I'm gonna give you a body fat based on what I'm seeing in these photos. Based on the legs, I would have thought she was over 30%, but because her back is so lean, I'm gonna give her 27% body fat. It's hard to tell from one picture because if you just saw her back and had to assess her body fat, you'd think she was shredded. But if you look at the legs and look at the other poses, you can see there is some extra fat in those areas. That's it. Hopefully you learned something ending it here. GregDuset.com for coaching. Greg Duset IB Pro. Be sure to watch one of those bloops. Learn even more than last time. Don't forget, buy the freaking cookbook. Help you have delicious, amazing, filling recipes. Help you eat a deficit to get you to lose weight. Lower your body fat percentage. Live a longer life. And until next time, I am out. I do what I want. I poop on the floor all the time. I pee on the floor. And everyone just thinks I'm a cute little pet. I'm just a pig.